2001 was a difficult year for Alex Zanardi. He'd returned to the US Kart Series after a disappointing spell in Formula One. But the Lautzitzring 500 race in Germany, Alex was back on form and giving it his all. We were near the end of the race, about 13 laps or so to the end of the race, and um, Zanardi was leading and he had a pip for fuel. I was watching in the medical center, the TV monitor there, and saw Alex uh, leave the pits and get onto the pit access road, and he, in his uh, hard charging style that he always has, he was really going too fast. He lost control on the pit access road, uh, went backwards across the racetrack, and much to my horror, uh, was hit broadside by Alex Tagliani's car. This is a reconstruction of what viewers witnessed on their TV screens. The collision was unavoidable. When cars drive at speeds of 150 miles an hour, they travel a whole car length in just 10 one thousandths of a second, and in one complete second, the length of a football pitch. Driving at such speeds, Tagliani would have seen Zanardi stationary in the road just over a second before impact. I thought, personally, uh, after seeing so many crashes, that we were going to be dealing with a double fatality. And, of course, my heart sank. Uh, I was uh, petrified, as a matter of fact. We pulled up to the scene. I got out of the truck and started running up the track to the, the car. And as I got close, I started slipping and it was a banked track slipped and fell on my knees and kind of slid up to the car when I and that was when I saw he didn't have any legs I had to await word from Terry as to Alex's condition so what seemed like hours uh, which was only a few minutes went by before Terry called me on our private radio channel and uh, he said uh, this is bad he said it's really bad he said both legs are gone and I said what do you mean gone? He said, they're gone. And I said, is there anything that we can salvage, anything we can save? He said, no, they're destroyed. And he said, he, he, he's dying. I've done a lot of, of road trauma in the past, and that kind of injury in a, in a public setting is, is almost a certain fatality. In the thighs, the veins are huge. Just think, take five liters and put it in a bucket and then put a hole about the size of a quarter in, in it in two places and see how long it takes to drain. And that, that's basically what we were dealing with. Alex was uh, white as a ghost, uh, looked like a ghost. He was unconscious. Uh, his uh, head, eyes had rolled back in his head. Uh, he had no response at all. Zanardi was losing blood rapidly. Dr. Olvi fed three IVs into his body to manage this blood loss. This kept him alive, but the diluted blood lacked the vital oxygen needed to feed his brain. I told him to uh, get him in the helicopter and, and, and head for Berlin. I went back inside uh, with Terry to uh, look at Tagliani because he had been in the same crash and we were sure that he probably had some injuries. So we examined him quickly, determined there was nothing, nothing life-threatening uh, with TAG, brought him out on a stretcher to go in a second helicopter, realized that the first helicopter with Alex was still there. And uh, I, I just, I, I panicked. I, I didn't panic. I just, I'm very angry. And I went over to the helicopter and I said, you know, the only German words I knew, I grabbed the pilot, I pulled him down out of the helicopter and I pointed to the sky and said, Schnell, Schnell. By the time Zanardi reached hospital, he had lost over 72% of his blood volume and had, at the most, four minutes left to live. Once stabilized, the doctors now turned their attention to the brain damage this massive blood loss may have caused and placed Zanardi into an induced coma. The induced coma was, uh, is a method of uh, brain protection. If you can keep the brain quiet, uh, in the initial stages of a concussion, whether it's a, a moderate or severe concussion or a, a really bad head injury, uh, it's beneficial and allows the, uh, the brain cells to kind of regroup and begin the, uh, the healing process. After three days, Zanardi was reanimated. Daniela, uh, Alex's wife, wanted to be the first one in there when he started to wake up, and uh, we were just amazed and, and uh, so pleased that because when he did wake up 
uh, he recognized uh, Daniela and, and he told her at that time uh, that uh, he'd be okay as long as he had her and his son. <laughs> 